Hello and welcome back to another Zoro Plays Minecraft by me, Zoro. In this, uh, this episode, we're going to work on the um, spawner down below. I'm going to get that going so that we can uh, start getting maximum efficiency when it comes to bones, arrows, and all that good stuff. Alright, so I'm just going to clean out my inventory now. And I bought a new keyboard, which uh, I'm not sure if you guys will notice or not. But it sounds much better. And um, it's a Razer keyboard. I bought it because I had a Razer mouse. And I just wanted one that matches the mouse. Even though the Razer keyboard is green backlit. And um, my mouse is blue. So that's one place I kind of fucked up. But that's okay. It's still worth it. I spent... Um, I spent 70 bucks on it, 75, it's originally 80 and then I got a discount. And uh, as you see I found one emerald, because I'll show you what I was working on down here. Is there anything in here? Nope. Alright, so I kind of spent a little off time kind of planning out um, what I want the design down here. And this is the design it's going to be. So it's going to be this birch wood, like the full wooden block it's going to be going down on these on the edges and down the middle is going to be birch planks so it's going to be a nice little area it's going to it's going to look nice and i've yet to decide what i'm going to make the stairs but that's um i'll decide that a little later as you can see i already got both sides this took this all you see here took two full stacks of this stuff of the planks and the birch blocks birch wood blocks so it's going to be really resource intensive i'm going to have to do that off air and um i kind of made a little area down here just kind of dug out and i found my emerald around here and i was thinking of leaving it but i'm like nah i don't got time i gotta fix this quick i gotta look gotta make it look good <laughs> all right so um as i said i want to work on the spawner today and somehow I'm going, I'm going to make this look nice because so that we don't, I might just make it so you, we'll make a pathway going through here and I'll just block it off so that it looks nice. But, oh, there's a bunch of coal everywhere. I might have to pick that up or just leave it, whichever works, whichever happens, happens. But I'll probably do this off camera so that it doesn't take long. All right, here is our mob spawner. So what I, what I read up is you want to have it too deep and five to every corner or five to every edge and that's the big enough room for the mobs to spawn and uh yeah that's pretty much what i want to do today i will probably record doing it and i'll just talk about random stuff but that's about it um so i want to talk about youtube and uh the reason i want to talk about youtube is because some people, there's some people on YouTube who started a year ago and now they're super popular. There's some people on YouTube who started a year ago and they still have 263 subs. Or 268 subs now. I'm going to compare myself to Team Booster Break because he started roughly the same time as me. I checked. I think so anyway. And um, he has way more stuff than me. And I'm not going to say he's a bad person, but I'm saying that some of his videos aren't exactly the best. Well, neither are mine, but that's a different story. Um, oh, fucking shit. <laughs> Why did you spawn? It's too late. Whoops. And, and the thing is, some YouTube channels are just exploding out of nowhere right now. And the content that they produce is not that great. Yet, mine, I think, have a little bit better content. Uh, like, it sounds selfish saying this this way, but in all honesty, I think my videos are a little better than some people's. But, obviously, that isn't shown through the number of views I get. Each Minecraft video I post barely hits 10 views. And my how-to find videos, again, like the first day, they barely hit... I don't know, let's say 8 views, and then over time they get up to 20 in like a week, and then that's usually where they stop unless they're a special Pokemon like Staryu, and then within a month they're at 120 views. Which, in all due respect, is really good for me. I like it when my videos hit 100 at least, because that just tells me that people are actually watching. It's not just some... It's, it shows me that people actually came to that video. And the best part is, when I Google 
or when I put into YouTube search bar how to find specific Pokemon, so let's say Staryu or Growlithe or whatever, my videos are always the first ones that pop up. So if anyone ever decides to play those games and goes, well, I'm looking for a Smeargle now, and they type in how to find Smeargle, my video will be the first one to show up. I put those thumbnails to catch the people's attention. Uh, hold on, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I put those thumbnails there for a reason because people are attracted to nice thumbnails. And if they look at a video that just has some random guy in a battle against a Smeargle compared to a picture of a Smeargle in just an area, in an area, I would go for the one that has a Smeargle picture on it just because it looks more professional and it just looks like he found, he knows where it is and it's just done better. Also, a lot of videos like that, I look and they just have, um, they just have no voiceovers and it's really, oh crap, 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 oh god, oh god, oh god. Problem, we have a problem, we have a problem. <clears throat> oh shit. Oh fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah, it's a little bit of a problem. Okay, I gotta fix this. Why did that happen? Why are we above an ocean? Or er, ocean? Where are we above anyway? That's what I'm curious about. Is this an ocean? No, 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 no. Come on, swim up, you loser. Come on, swim. Where are we? I don't even know where we are. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna go back down. And I'm just gonna cover that up. Alright. Yeah, sorry about that. I just had to check what was up there because I was curious and I don't does not look familiar. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Alright. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna knock down this wall. And as I was saying, like you go to some videos and it looks really unprofessional and you watch it, you're like, I'm really curious how to find this specific Pokemon. And there's not even an audio commentary, it's just the guy recording his screen. And it's like, why those videos, I understand why those videos have more views. Those were posted all three, four years ago, back when, and over four years, a video like that can rack up views. Just like the Growlithe video I posted, it still racks up, I don't know how much a day, but it's going to rack up for the next few years as people come back and they look for that specific Pokemon. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, another four here. And, um, yeah, that's all I pretty much have to say about that, is just that... My view, my videos, I honestly believe, should get more views, and um, I really don't know how to get them higher. Like, I'm getting told that tags do much of it; they, they make a big difference. But at the same time, I do tag mine so much that I don't know what else to tag them. All right, so I got interrupted there, but let's continue on. Um, I cleared out most of it. I just got to clear out this, which I can do off camera, and we'll continue on next time. I'm going to go up to the surface and we're going to start doing a bit of, uh, I don't know, we're going to try finding something to do because I haven't done anything really that productive in this episode. I don't know how much time has gone into the, or how much, how long it is already, but I want to actually start something. And uh, I'll cut to when I get to the top so I just don't waste as much time. Alright, I'm at the top and where's the moon? Halfway. Alright, we're going to go mob. We're gonna go kill some mobs because I want to see. I want to get some Endermen. I want to kill some Ender Endermangs. Um, because I'm gonna start collecting Ender Pearls and we're gonna start heading to the Ents very soon. Because uh, we can go there and it'll be a big adventure <laughs> to get there. And uh, I want to collect every Ender Pearl I use for that whole experience. Oh shit! That whole experience on camera. And uh, yeah, let's just continue on looking for whatever we can find. Is there anything down there? Not entirely. It's just a big birch forest. I'm looking for a plains biome. That's here. F3. Okay. Just so that I have a way of getting back in case I get lost. Alright, let's go down here. Let's just start murdering things. Oh, my iron sword is going to run out soon. Oh, that's going to be bad when it does. Ah, you fucking skeleton. Who do you think you are? What? I killed it, but and it exploded. Unless there was a second one there. That was weird. I'll have to watch that again, because I don't understand what happened there. 
So I'm burnt. Okay, I'm low on health actually. I have to calm down or else I'm gonna die. Okay, go back. Oh, there's a baby. There's a baby. Ah, come on. Come on. Gotcha. There we go. No damage. Oh, it's no. It just looked like daytime because the. Um, I looked at birch wood and it's like, oh, it's white out. Okay, continuing on. Let's see what's over here. This is good. We'll get some more um, mob esque items, which we can work with if I ever have to. Oh, what the heck? This skeleton is just destroying me. Okay, continuing on. Ooh, sugarcane. We have to start sugarcane farms. What do we gotta start? Because, uh, we're gonna have to make an enchanting table soon whenever we find diamonds. And, uh, honestly, I think this is what we're gonna end on. There really didn't happen much in this episode. I'm probably just gonna go on continuing and killing more things. So, uh, thank you for watching. Sorry for the boring episode, guys, but I have to make something, and we're kind of at a point where... I have to do one thing to get to another, and that one thing is very tedious. So uh, make sure you stay tuned for whatever I post next, and uh, have a good day.